Namaste, namaste to all. Um, welcome to part one of Yoga Gi 2020. My name is Mia, and today I'm just going to give some helpful insights for those that are new to yoga or maybe in the process of their journey to enhance our journey as um, we grow together in the Yoga Gi practice. The first thing I'd like to address is the word uh, QI. So QI um, is pronounced different in many different cultures. And the most commonly uh, pronunciation of QI is Chi. So let's not get caught up on the pronunciation of Yoga Gi, like pecan, pecans, tomatoes, tomatoes. All right, next, what is Chi? Well, um, Chi means life force energy, the life, or life force energy that surrounds us all. So think about a fish in a fish tank. The fish is surrounded by water, just like us here on earth. Like a fishbowl, we are surrounded by this life force and we're swimming through it. But we're gonna journey through it through Yoga Gi 2020 and I'm so grateful. All right, the next thing I'd like to discuss is the word namaste. Some of us already know what namaste means. Um, however, the spiritual word, just in case if you don't know, the spiritual word um, namaste means the divine in me recognizes and respects the divine in you. I bow down to you. I re recognize your divine light and namaste, namaste to all. The second thing I'd like to share with you is your creative um, and spiritual space in your home um, or office maybe, anywhere in your home or space. I think it's really important um, that we do uh, face east. Why? Why do we all face east? If you do the research, uh, it's, it's very common and most meditation, and I would say all meditation if possible, is face east because that's the way the direction of the Earth's movement. It moves and it flows. And on our journey in Yoga Gi 2020, we're gonna learn how to flow with that energy so we can tap into that chi and bring that life force to us. So I want you to really think about, think about it as um, driving through traffic, right? When you're going through traffic, you're, we're, you're going with the traffic. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna go with the earth movement. We want to go with the flow of life, living moment by moment. However, if it's not possible um, to face east, the second next best thing is north. Um, I believe that everyone um, definitely has a compass on their phone. Take a look and um, just go from there. If for some reason you cannot create an east space or a north space, I think I have this great idea that you could take a mirror, I believe, and um, try, um, try um, make it so that you get the reflection of East. And that's just something um, I would do personally. All right, so let's go ahead and make our spiritual space. I also would love to add um, for myself and uh, to create your own space, always candles and incense are always uh, a great addiction, addiction, addition. And Yoga Gi 2020 is an addiction. So namaste to all. I will cover more in part two about the QI word, chi, however you pronounce it, Kai in Japanese. And on part two, we'll talk about how we're gonna use that energy force within our movements and the healing of our spiritual and physical life to become enlightened with one, being one with the universe. All right, love you all. Once again, namaste and peace be with you.